Get the facts first and be held accountable. That's the superintendent's response after a parent attacked a teacher in the Hickman Mills District. Shannon Halligan has more on what steps are in place to keep teachers safe. What I'm concerned about is an irrational response from a parent in terms of a kindergartner coming home and making an accusation. Dr. Dennis Carpenter, superintendent of Hickman Mills School, says parents need to be held accountable. His bold statement comes after police say Simone Baker went after her son's kindergarten teacher at Truman Elementary School last week over something her son told her happened in his classroom. The police report states Baker entered the principal's office and became very loud and disruptive oh, after really? Baker's six-year-old son told his mother his teacher Phyllis White scratched his neck. The principal asked Baker to come back the following day, but Simone sprinted out of the office. So our principals have been trained. If a person is on the loose in the building, get a couple people to go along with you. So by the time she could get two or three people to go along with her to try and find this parent, the parent's about 34 seconds ahead of the principal. During that time, White told police Baker confronted her and struck her in the face. White said she hit her five to ten times and smashed her head into a file cabinet. We tried to get Baker's side of the story, but we were told she wasn't home. Dr. Carpenter said the principal and school followed every protocol. But given an individual walking out of the building, just as you're bolting into a building, I don't think there's a system in place that can, can stop that kind of a thing. Since the incident, Baker's son recanted what he said. The school has since moved him into a new classroom. Now, Simone Baker, the mom accused in the attack, has been banned from the school now.